but I'm going off on a brief tangent. I love tangents. As a writer, that's what I do. But I want to stay on track in terms of I worked with a master or with a guru for some years. After learning all the technology and techniques, then there was this surrender, this, this approach to living uh, recommended and taught by the guru. And finally, for various reasons, I decided it was time to move on. And I met a spiritual adventurer. I call, his name was Michael Bookbinder. He was your deprogrammer type, your anti-guru. He once said, if anybody tries to follow me, they're going to see the back of my head. And then I spent time with him learning very practical approaches that I was able to use for years in my teachings um, to integrate spirit and everyday life in a very adventurous, interesting, and fun way. He was a, a past uh, fencing master, martial arts master. He used to be a bounty, bounty hunter. He was also had some um, highly refined intuitive sight. But he gave me the tools that resulted, that stimulated me to write about five different books over the years. And then finally, after all this time with various people, I came down to earth. I got into a much more immediate touch with reality. What I mean by that is, most of us have been programmed. We've grown up in a culture, a new age, psychotherapeutic culture, not realizing the whole ethos we were absorbing through our parents, through the culture at large. The assumption that we have to fix our insides in order to be well, in order to live a functional spiritual life. And I learned some different approaches to that that don't involve this, if I can only quiet my mind and have more positive thoughts, if I can only just have the right emotions like love and happiness and peace, inner peace, of course, um, and compassion. I need to be feeling those things more of the time. And I learned none of that is essential to living wisely and well, living a good, fulfilling, uh, practical, and meaningful life.